Hello everyone. Today I'm going to tell you a couple things and let's just say your jaw might drop a little. But first things first. The D, the free, so oh, what we think is free, DLC slash expansion, whatever the thing is coming on October 31st is one of two things. Either a complete spin-off that takes place in the uh, restaurant where the ma the mass of the unfamiliar characters from the Happiest Day mini game from FNAF 3 coincide, uh, exists where they are. Or it'll be about sister location. Okay, that's out of the way. Now the second thing I want to discuss is this thing will not be a sequel or a prequel because the nights or events of whatever it is coincide with the nights of fin and events of FNAF of five of the current Five Nights at Freddy's 4 the, what we know now as the main game so it's not a prequel because it doesn't take place before not a sequel because it doesn't take place after it takes place during. Hold on a second, uh, my computer went off. But uh, anyway, that being said, one thing that could disprove the sister restaurant thing is that if it, that were true, if that's. Well, that choice would be wrong because Scott said that this thing would not expand upon anything in FNAF 4. And now I'm expanding upon the restaurant we see in the mini game, so that's immediately debunked. So I think the spin-off idea that I had is probably more likely, but the other one is still possible. Now now the other but in a way the other one could be more possible because the next thing I'm about to say, we are playing Fight It to Freeze 4 now. But we have not played Five Nights at Freddy's for the final chapter. Because ladies and gentlemen, this expansion is Five Nights at Freddy's for the final chapter. And what we have now is Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Yes, I'm saying that final chapter and what we have now are technically two different games. I know this is a little insane. A little weird, but it's just an idea, a concept I've had. And I really do think that the final chapter is actually the subtitle of the whatever this thing is gonna be. It's honest, honestly, it does make sense, especially since usually, hold on, usually when a FNAF game releases on Steam. The release date of the game, the day the game releases, is put on the IndieDB page. But for some odd reason, the IndieDB page for Five Nights at Freddy's 4 still says to be discussed Q still says Q4 2015, which is around when Halloween is. It doesn't say July 23rd. So that's what's leading me to think that the final chapter, this was, re when the final chapter releases, the site will update with two release dates, July 23rd for Five Nights at Freddy's 4 and October 31st for the final chapter. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time. Peace.